but before on my channel I made a so this is the Bloxus second C beginner's guide. I did make one for first C, but now we're gonna make one for second C because I feel like some of y'all that are in second C still don't know what you're doing until like so I think if I remember what I was doing when I first came into second C, I remember pulling a mammoth and gravity from the Doe King. Traded the mammoth for a doe because that was when update 20 was still out and mammoth had really high value. But, and then I ate the doe fruit, expecting the awakened, but then I realized that the, the doe I've kept seeing in those all those videos was just the awakened doe. And the real doe looks absolutely garbage. And it was absolutely garbage so, so I had to suffer for most of second C because I had to use unawakened dough to grind and that thing sucked so bad I hated it um until I found someone that actually wanted to do do dough raids and that's why in my first block this video you see me using awakened dough okay that was yeah that by the way, so you can go for Rumble. It's still pretty good for grinding, even though it's unawakened. It's it, it, it's not recommended though because a fruit that still would work for second C is the light fruit. Because even though you don't you don't have it awakened, it could still be really good for grinding because it has left clicks, some with ice. But now since we're in second C, some fruits that are really recommended are the fruit that I mainly want. Uh, would would want you guys to use is Blizzard. Blizzard has good AOE. Doesn't need an awakening before it's good. It doesn't need high master requirements, so you can get it in second seed. Hold on, let's just do a fruit spin. Hopefully, I can get a Blizzard. Well, that's not exactly uh, exactly a Blizzard, but yeah, I will store that. Um, yeah, fruits like Blizzard and in 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 second C, some mythical fruits can actually be taken, like T Rex, Kitsune, not Mammoth or Leopard because they don't have them ones off the bat. T Rex and Kitsune would be really good for this C because they have M ones. Left clicks, like even though these fruits have like mastery requirements up to three hundred. You can still do this. You can just, like, you don't even need that. You can just do that. And even with this one move, let's just say you just got... I know Kitsune is, like, the most hardest, like, the hardest fruit to get in the game. But if you somehow get it, like, a, buying a perm or winning a giveaway or something, then, yeah, it's really good. Although, uh, let's just say you just ate it and you have, you have the default Kitsune. You only have one move. You're going like this. See, it's, I, although I, I do have max stats, either way, I'm still obliterating them. Even if I had low-level stats for these NPCs, I would still be killing them pretty easily. Like, even and even with one move, like that, it, it could still be really good. But then you can unlock all those next moves, and it becomes really OP for grinding. So yeah, that's another fruit that's really recommended in this seat. But if you have max level friends that I didn't have, I just asked some, some random I found. If you have some high level friends that can carry you in raids, ask them to carry you in some raids for the fruit, for like light fruit, go fruit, phoenix, rumble, spider. Because all of the legend, most of the legendaries need awakening. So like rumble, bam, phoenix, bam. Sound is a really good one, by the way. If you can get, but the main fruit again is always, it's always and always Buddha. Even if you don't have a friend to awaken it, it's still really OP. I mean, look at the M1 spin. Bop, bop, bop. Bop, bop. I know I'm using God Human with max stats, but either way, Buddha is always the play here. But if, but if Buddha's way too overpriced for you, Blizzard. I think uh, Buddha is always the best option when it comes for all this. So, yep. That's the most recommended thing. But when we get to... Why the heck am I holding my like this? 
I'll show you. Dang it, why didn't that work? What the heck? Get back down here. What? Bro, that's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, okay, that hit. Okay. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so when you move on to from the mercenaries, no, okay. 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 nah. When you move on from the raiders of the mercenaries, you come over here to the swan pirates, and then when you move on from them to the faction okay. and stuff. I literally learned this the hard way. Do not fight these idiots. They are so annoying. Instead, keep grinding them until you can fight Bellamy. Because the factory staff are the most annoying thing in the sea, probably. Oh my god, did you really just have to die? What did, what did I do? What did I do, bro? What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? <laughs> so, uh, I returned. So, yeah. The factory, factory staff are super annoying. Do not fight them. And I want to get vengeance just for once, real quick. Hate that, hate them. I hate them so much. Anyways, yeah, that's the factory staff. You don't want to fight them. They, they're annoying. They, they, you, yeah, and then when you go fight Bellamy, server hop him. And whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that's so convenient. Did you not hear what I said earlier in the video? You weren't here, right? I said hopefully I roll a Blizzard because I was just talking about Blizzard being good. Uh, that, yeah, that's so convenient. No, bro, that, dude, that's way too convenient. That is way too convenient, dog. I was literally five seconds ago. I, I mean, Fujitora. You can fight chicken for heater up. I, I mean, Fujitora. So, yeah. But if you don't want to do all that, so just go to level 900, I recommend. Or not. Because, and then after, I recommend not. I recommend uh, staying on fajita, chicken fajita wrap, for until snow, until like great yards second way, quest. So yeah, you guys might want to farm him until the second quest at graveyard. That's what I did honestly. If you don't wanna, then just do whatever you want. But that's what I recommend. And second. When you're done with graveyard, you move on to Snow Mountain, which then you're one la one island away from being on the one island where you can get officially start doing raids. When you're level 1,100, you can start hosting raids, and you don't have to have. Fr you might still need friends for help because you honestly cannot solo them at that level. But still, you can start doing raids, but. And, uh, so when you, when you farm these guys, lab subordinates for enough, I recommend you actually do not go over there. These ones are way more grouped together, and those ones are way further away, and they're more painful to fight. So fight these until you can fight Smokey, I mean Smoker, and then fight him, fight him until he can't no more. I fought him until the next island, which, what's the next island? Cursed ship? It's Cursed Ship, right? I think it's Cursed Ship. I think it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then on Cursed Ship, nothing really much I recommend. If you want to farm there, you can. Oh, yeah, you should probably get the Midnight Blade. It's a pretty good bl uh, sword if you're trying to use Buddha. If you're trying to use Buddha Sword Sass, Midnight Blade would be really good. Uh, yeah, basically, after you're done with Haunted Ship, where else do you go? After Haunted Ship, after Cursed Ship, I mean, you go to I, uh, Winter Castle, where you fight Aokiji, uh, well, this, I, I, this does not look anything like Pink Castle, like, nah, I'm joking. Anyways, yeah, when you go fight the Awakened Ice Admiral all the way over there at Winter, 
castle. I recommend you fight him till you're high enough level to fight the boss at 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 Forgotten Island, which is is this supposed to be Onigashima? I don't get it, but yeah, probably. Um, and you fight him until you're at third C. That's basically it. The swords I recommend you get for the C are Gravity Cane, Midnight Blade, Coco, Red Goku. And if you don't want to wait until you're third C and max level, you can get some of the legendary swords and try to get our my favorite Onigiri sword. So Basically, that's basically all I recommend for trading. When you trade, uh, you must. Uh, when you're in second C and you trade, you must be new to it. So please, 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 search up a value chart like blockchainvalues.com or something before you before you trade because you could get them. And yep, that's basically all my advice for this video. Second C is a little more self-explanatory than third C. Because, well, there's not really much to do. There's not really much to grind in second C because there's more. I don't even know what I'm saying at this point, but I forgot about Diamond. Yeah, when you fight Diamond, I recommend you fight him until Jeremy. But if you don't wanna, again, it's one pirate. Oh yeah, fighting styles here. They're superhuman in this C. So I recommend when you first... When you first come into the sea with Dark Step, Barakaku, or Electric Claw, doesn't matter what fighting style, get it to level 300, go back to first sea, equip Dark Step, or uh, just get the three fighting styles from first sea that level 300, alright? And then when you come to, and then, and then when you're done with that, you come here, and then you, where is Sabo? Okay, then, then you come over here to Sabo, and you get Dragon's Breath, and level that to 302, alright? That's, <coughs> that's how you get superhuman. Then you need quite a bit of money and quite a bit of frags. And for this factory raid, uh, you basically are probably going to get swarmed when you try it. But yeah, that's basically all I have for a second to you. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe. And uh, bye.